Greetings. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw the Ganesh Yantra and the Sri Chakra Hindu Yantras using TurboCAD. A lot of my research has been based on using this book, Tools for Tantra, and also some research on the internet. I feel I found a very elegant solution for creating both the Ganesh Yantra as well as the Sri Yantra using the golden ratio only and combining the two forms to create what I think is a spiritual experience. So uh, the, the book itself, yeah, there is a lot of research, uh, there's a lot of documentation on the methods of how to create these and the spiritual meaning behind them. I would highly recommend giving it a read. This is the one diagram of the Ganesh Yantra, which we will be uh, drawing in TurboCAD, and the other diagram of the Sri Yantra. And it's interesting to note that in order to draw the Ganesh Yantra, we must start off with the Sri Yantra, which uh, has its core base in the golden ratio, which is um, a really important ratio that has been used for centuries. So with the, what we hope to achieve in the, creating the Sri Yantra and the Ganesh Yantra in TurboCAD is by only using the golden ratio and construction techniques can be created in inches or centimeters or whichever you like and uh, each specific point is clearly defined. That said, let us get started in TurboCAD. All right, for purposes of this illustration, I'm going to be using TurboCAD Professional 17.2, but you can use any of the TurboCAD versions as the tools that I'm using are in most versions. I use the CAD course interface by clicking the Tools Customize, Load From, choosing CAD course 17, and it changes the layout uh, to match my the movies that I typically create. Because of the limited screen resolution for these movies, I'm going to shut the tools palette down here on the right-hand side and create the drawing within this area over here. I've started a, just a completely new drawing from scratch, new from scratch, and now I'm going to set up some key issues here, some key settings that will help us create this. So just some default properties when I'm changing my line tools. Um, I'm going to uh, make sure that the color is uh, color and the line style gets from the layer. And I'm going to repeat this for my arcs. Make sure that the it is by layer and the line style is by layer. We're going to be drawing constructions and turning entities into constructions. So this is uh, as just to, to start off some default settings. Right, so the first thing that we're going to do is to start off by drawing a, a rectangle. We can start it at any point, doesn't really matter, and then we can type in the width of the rectangle as being two inches. It could be centimeters or millimeters or whatever, but uh, the important thing here is the ratio of two by one. And then we have a rectangle which is two by one. Now we're going to draw a diagonal line from the one corner of this to the other. So I'm going to use my V for vertex snap key to snap there, V for vertex to snap there, and I now have a diagonal. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the length of the line. So once we have the diagonal, we can then use the modify line length command to select the line and extend it by a further inch. What we now have is the distance by definition of the 2 by 1 rectangle. That length there is the square root of 5. I've just increased the line by a length of an inch. So this is... Well, so now when I select this, we'll see that this value going to switch to a 2D selector so that we selecting working only in 2D. So now when I take this value, this is root 5 plus 1, and I'm going to reduce this by half, 0.5 in the X scale and 0.5 in the Y. 
Now that value is what we know, what we can call the golden ratio. When we have a look at this, I'm going to hold. I went D and V to relocate the reference point to that corner. I'm going to control click the green handle and go V on that corner, and then click and hold the shift key to force it up. You can see now this value is 1.62. If we were to up our options and come into space units and increase our decimal places up to 10, for example, we can see that this figure here is 1.618033, etc., which is the correct value for the golden ratio. I'd encourage you to go and learn more about the golden ratio at uh, on Wikipedia or do a Google search. It is a very important number that is used in architecture and in found in nature over and over again. So this value here is going to be used a lot in our construction of this yantra. So we'll click that to pick it up and snap it to that corner V. And now we're going to draw an arc by snapping to the end there V and V there. And then we're going to take that arc and duplicate it. So I click the yellow reference point, I hold the control key down to duplicate it, then click the yellow reference point and snap with the V key over there. I now have an intersection point here that I'm interested in. So now what we'll do is we will create a, a line from that intersection point I through to V over there and from I there to V on this corner over here. Now I'm going to turn these others into construction points. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a vertical construction line through the center of this bottom line by pressing M for midpoint. You'll see that goes through that. Now if I have a look at my layers, if we go F3 to bring up the calculator, uh, the, the design director, I have a, a, a construction layer over there now what happens when I can select this, I can simply assign these to be on that construction layer by simply selecting the entities that I want to put onto the construction layer and changing them. I'm going to change the color slightly of the construction layer to be a little bit darker so that we can actually see what's going on here. And then I'm just going to simply shut that out and continue working. So we have now this line here which is the distance if we have a look at the selection info palette there view selection info you can see that the metrics of that line that length of that line is that same distance because that's what we that's what we calculated it to be and the uh, that is the golden ratio of the half of this base so that we're going to go from V there to V there. And now we have constructed this triangle with the hypotenuse of one of them as being the golden ratio. The next thing we're going to do is create an arc with uh, using the triple point circle. And we're going to snap to these points here with an I, an I, and an I. And now we have this circle which circumscribes this triangle. This now is going to define the center point that we're going to be using as the construction for all these yantras.